Hello there. there. I'm over. And I'm Vanessa. And we are late to the party, and Denny Villeneuve is coming out with his version, his take, his cinematic splendor, Dune. Yes. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how uh, Denis Villeneuve takes the story and makes it his own, uh, but also, you know, giving maybe homage to what David Lynch did before. And obviously bringing in the lore and the world that was created so long ago uh, through the book series. So when it comes down to it, Denis Villeneuve, I love what he has done in the past. I love what he did with Blade Runner 2049, even though the audience really wasn't there for it. I'm hoping it is for this one, but we shall find out with the first trailer for Dune. Dune. Now. Did you see? There's a crusade coming. Do you often dream things that happen just as you dream them? Yes. The test is simple. Remove your hand from the box and you die. What's in the box? Pain. <laughs> Ooh. You inherit too much power. You have proven you can Hell yeah. Now. Much better. Yeah. Now you must learn to rule others. Something none of your ancestors learned. My father rules an entire planet. He's losing it. He's getting a richer one. He'll lose that one too. <laughs> Arrakis is a death trap. Okay. I'll kill him. A little stell in there. Yeah. Um, the doctor. He's a traitor. Don't trust Let's him. Fight like demons. <laughs> yeah. An animal caught in a trap will gnaw off its own leg to escape. What will you do? He's not an animal. Nope. I know you. Hell yeah! One Little Floyd. Yeah. Oh yeah. The one's taking the harvester. Yeah. The future. I can see it. Where the fear is gone, only I will remain. Oh, deep. Go, go, go! Damn, it's coming. There it is. Get to the rocks. In all its glory. Mm -hmm. Surprised they actually gave us the uh, the sandworm. Uh, I thought I figured they would have saved it for like the second trailer or something. Mm. But seeing this, hearing this, now that is awesome that they actually use Pink Floyd or at least Eclipse for this trailer because right. Pink Floyd was supposed to do the score for the original Dune film that was supposed to come out in the late 70s. Uh, I ended up, you know, going through trouble and not being produced and then David Lynch ended up coming out with his version. But yeah, being able to kind of tip the hat to Pink Floyd and what was supposed to be done originally and putting it into this trailer. Yeah, I think that, that that's pretty cool. I know that there are times where it, it kind of gets boring a little bit after a while when every trailer is taking a, a song and doing a cinematic version of it. And right. You're like, okay, well, it's cool at first, but maybe change it up a little bit and do something different. But right. for this movie, it does make sense to have Pink Floyd in there because it does have like that 
um, you know, like, hey, remember, you, Pink Floyd was supposed to do the music for an original movie, so why not, you know, give a little bit of homage to that, too, course, and yeah. put Pink Floyd in the trailer. And it's great watching this trailer and having seen the Dune film, you can pretty much piece together all this, the different scenes and the things that are happening. So there, it doesn't feel like it's straying too far away. Granted, there may be some subtle differences, for instance, with the weirding way. I don't know if they're going to end up utilizing the weirding module instead. But yeah, I mean, it looks very similar to what I know from Dune, because I did not end up reading the books, but I did watch the movie and the original movie. And it's very similar, so I, I could watch this trailer and feel like, oh, that's exactly this point in the story that is happening. But I'm ready to see it on a grand scale in a way that is more modernized. Right, and I'm also ready to see, because the way that, you know, that, that old movie, yes, it, it, there are certain things in it where you're kind of like, okay, because of the technology that they had at the time. Sure. Um, bring it into now with the technology that we have now as far as CG, as far as, you know, special effects. The fact that, uh, like, even when they were showing the part when they're doing, like, that duel and they have, like, the, the shield or the vibrating shield up, like, that's cool. Like, I was real interested to see how they were going to do that, and I'm glad they kind of showed it in the trailer. Right. Like, it's like this vibrating thing that you, that they kind of wear. Yeah. Um, so, with other portions of the movie, too, I'm looking forward to seeing how... Uh, different the the special effects are going to be i think that this movie is going to be beautiful and with the fact that hans zimmer is also doing the music i think that that is going to be awesome because i feel like hans zimmer does very very well when it comes to like um um ambience for a movie and sure. this movie is definitely something that would benefit from ambience type music essentially i mean look at uh blade runner 2049 hans right. zimmer also did that movie which was denis villeneuve right. and the music for that movie is amazing and i i love it's very soothing so right. i am looking forward to seeing what he can do for this movie as well very tranquil uh the music's tranquil the imagery looks tranquil so we're excited to see more for dune so thank you so much for watching our reaction to the first trailer of dune what did you guys think let us know down in the comments below did you guys see the original have you read the books Tell us down there. You can also like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Stardust. All the social networking gin joints, you know where they are. Kick into the party, fuel the party, keep the party going on our Patreon. Thank you so much, and as always... Now it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Bye. Bye.